Question 1. What is release procedure? Answer. Release procedure is approving certain documents like PRs or POs by criteria defined in the configuration. It is sensible to define separate release procedures for different groups of materials for which different departments are responsible, and to define separate procedures for investment goods and consumption goods. Question 2. Under what conditions are planned orders created? What may planned orders be converted to and how is that conversion accomplished? Answer. Planned orders are always created when the system creates an internal procurement proposal. In the case of vendor procurement, the MRP controller may create a planned order or directly create a PR. The next step for a planned order is to be converted to a PR so it goes to purchasing and is to eventually become a PO. A planned order can be converted to a PR using transaction code MD14. Question 3. What are the organizational levels of the enterprise structure in R3? Answer. The top level of the organizational plan is the client, followed by company code, which represents a unit with its own accounting, balance, P&L, and possibly identity, subsidiary. The next level down is plant, an operational unit within a company, HQ, assembly plant, call center, ETC. The purchasing organization is the legally responsibly group for external transactions. This group is further subdivided into purchasing groups. Question 4. What are the different ways to organize purchasing organizations? Answer. A purchasing organization may be responsible for multiple plants and this is referred to as distributed purchasing. On the other hand, centralized purchasing features one purchasing organization per plant. A purchasing organization doesn't necessarily need to be assigned to a company code. This would enable procurement for every company code as long as buyers are acting for an individual plant and that plant is assigned to the purchasing organization. Hence, a plant may be assigned to more than one purchasing organization. Question 5. What are special stocks? Answer. Special stocks are stocks that are accounted for but are not owned by the client, are not stored at a regular facility. Consignment, sales order, and project stock are examples. Question 6. What are some of the options available to transfer materials from one plant to another? Answer. Although it is possible to transfer materials from one plant to another without a stock transport order, many advantages are lost including entering a vendor number, planning a goods receipt in the receiving plant, monitoring process from PO history, and the ability to create store directly from a MRPPR. Question 7. What are some of the common stock transport order movement types? Answer. One-step transfers of materials can be posted using MT301. Other various transport scenarios differ in the MTs by the goods issues and good receipts. Common goods issues may use MTs 303, 351, 641, or 643 in the store. ASTO's good receipt often uses MT101. Question 8. What is the difference between a purchase order and a purchase requisition? Answer. A purchase requisition is a document type that gives notification of a need for materials or services. A purchase order is a document type that is a formal request for materials or services from an outside vendor or plant. Procurement types may be defined at the line item and can be standard, subcontracting, consignment, stock transfer, or an external service. Question 9. What is an indirectly created purchase requisition? Answer. An indirectly created purchase requisition has been initiated by CBP, the PS Project System, PM Maintenance, and Service Management, or PP Production Planning and Control. The directly created purchase requisition, on the other hand, is created by a person manually in the requesting department specifying what materials, services, units, and a delivery date. Question 10. What is an RFQ AND? How is it different from the quotation form? Answer. A RFQ is a purchasing document and an invitation to a vendors for quotation regarding needed materials or services. If multiple an RFQ is sent to multiple vendors, the system can automatically determine the best quote and send rejection letters in response to all others. The RFQ and the quotation form are one in the same in the system as vendors quotes are entered directly in the RFQ. 
Question 11. What are the transactions that will result in a change of stock? Answer. A goods receipt is a posting acknowledging the arrival of materials from a vendor or production, which results in an increase in warehouse stock, a goods issue which results in a reduction in stock, or a stock transfer moving materials from one location to another. Question 12. When would it be prudent to post goods movements via the shipping application? Answer. If picking, packing, and transportation operations need to be planned in detail. Also, in shipping, you can manage movements like returns from customers, vendors, and returns to stock. Movement types in shipping start with a 6. Question 13. What is a reservation? Answer. A reservation is a document used to make sure that the warehouse keeps a certain amount of a material or materials ready for transfer at a later date. It contains information on what, quantity, when, where from and to. Reservations help effective procurement by utilizing the MRP system to avoid out of, lack of stock situations. Question 15. How is GR, IR account related to inventory? Answer. If you are involved with inventory, then you need the GR, IR account, inventory account, when the IR is posted. If you are not involved about inventory, then the system does not need the GR, IR account when the IR is posted. The system needs a GL instead of the GR, IR account. Question 15. How is GR, IR account related to inventory? Answer. If you are involved with inventory, then you need the GR, IR account, inventory account, when the IR is posted. If you are not involved about inventory, then the system does not need the GR, IR account when the IR is posted. The system needs a GL instead of the GR, IR account. Question 16. How do planned and unplanned consumption affect movement types? Answer. In a customized movement type, you have defined which consumption value gets posted in the movement. Many will always be planned or unplanned, but for some there is a dependency on if the movement references a reservation. This would be planned consumption. Question 17. What are departmental views? Answer. All functional areas of the system use the same material master data. The material master data is defined in individual screens, departmental views, that can be added as needed. Thus a material can be created with only basic data and other departments can add other information later as it becomes available. Question 18. Is material data valid for all organizational levels? Answer. Control of master data depends largely on how each company sets up its organizational levels, centralized or decentralized. Some material data is valid for all organizational levels while other data is valid only at certain levels. Question 18. Is material data valid for all organizational levels? Answer. Control of master data depends largely on how each company sets up its organizational levels, centralized or decentralized. Some material data is valid for all organizational levels while other data is valid only at certain levels. Question 20. How do you perform an invoice verification? Answer. If the invoice refers to an existing document, PO, ETC, then the system pulls up all of the relevant information like vendor, material, quantity, terms of delivery, and payment terms ETC. When the invoice is entered, the system will find the relevant account. Automatic posting for sales tax, cash discount, corrections ETC. When the invoice is posted, certain data such as average price of material and price history are updated. Use Transaction Miro.